Paul Hamilton here, quick tutorial on how to use Book Creator in science. So what we're going to do here is just create a really quick uh, front page and let's pretend that um, our book is about things that change, which fits in with our curriculum really nicely. We might just bring in a picture there as well of something that changes over time. Recently on the Sunshine Coast, we had some pretty significant hail so I'll just have a quick look and see if I can find uh, that picture. There we go, we'll bring that in. Um, and so what I've been playing around with, with Book Creator lately, um, not only Book Creator, sorry, iMotion HD, HD is time-lapse video. Um, if you haven't seen my tutorial on iMotion HD, have a look at it. And so what we could do here is just bring in um, from our camera roll um, this video here, and this is a... Uh, this is a little video that um, shows an ice cream uh, melting over time. So when I touch it, you can see there that it melts over time. So what we could do there, we could use this with uh, our students, fantastic homework task. We could bring in some subheadings here with our text and say, okay, what are, or what were my observations? Um, put that in there and then underneath it we could put okay what else um, let's put the why yeah why did it happen underneath and all of a sudden we've got some really um, interesting things for the students to write about in regard to science experiments and observations of things over time so there's just a really quick tutorial obviously we can clean that up a little bit and put the text and the, and the colors and so forth um, but this would be a fantastic little project for students to do science investigations and scientific journals uh, showing time-lapse things that happen and change over time and why they occur and what were the observations. Paul Hamilton here signing off.